Hey, Jerry here with Big Dog Movies. I want to talk to you today about an app that I use on the iPad quite a bit um, for some movies that we make. It's called Intro Mate. And uh, it's an app that can be got on off of uh, the App Store. And um, this app will let you design movie intros, credits, and such that uh, you can show who's been in your movies. And uh, this is one I did for Big Dog Movies. Uh, just a little one we did, we put on YouTube. Usually put these in, in front of the movie before you uh, show the clip or the short film or whatever you want to use. Just shows what's going on, like a title screen or anything of that sake, sort. So uh, I'm going to cancel out of this. And uh, I'll show you. Here's the templates that uh, come with the app. There's about 20, 20 templates that go through, and they have some credit templates and different things if you notice up top uh, the left one's the one I use for the big dog movies and these are my projects that I have saved on here uh, and I'll show you a sample of one here the one I did for soccer these are fully customizable you can do the, change the colors add different photos change the speed of the transitions the music everything it's all customizable so pretty interesting and uh, you can save these and uh, your camera roll and then you can come back and trim the trim the scrap off or the fat off of them and use them to your needs so let's dig in here we'll find us a template here get into one here and this is called splashy title that's pretty interesting if you notice here the left you have a control bar for the uh, title screen you can uh, select the uh, scroll in scroll out uh, motion in if you want to come in from the left or come in from the right Adjust your centers in and out, and uh, make a neat transition. And if you go to the little color wheel, uh, you can adjust the colors of the background. Um, pretty much customizable to whatever you want to try to squeeze in there. Um, the middle bar would be your fade and transparency. So let's find some nice color here. We'll move the transparency in and out. And then you have uh, the deep darkness of the colors on the bottom. That's a pretty good color. We'll use that. And now we're into the edit uh, menu. If you notice, you can adjust the title left and right, um, up and down. If you don't have the correct spacing, it just doesn't suit you. Um, so we'll move it around here a little bit and then uh, we'll put something else in there. Um, you can also change the size of the uh, spacing in between the letters. Um, you can adjust the uh, the flare to the letters, you have your outline, your um, your fill color, and then um, obviously the uh, font. Um, you can change the edges to smooth or square, so you can pr pretty much make whatever you want. Let's type in a title here. Let's call this Intro Mate uh, Tutorials 2. We'll just type in TUT. And let's suggest this a little bit. If you notice, the fonts that come with it are uh, it's about 30 fonts, maybe maybe 40. Um, and within each font, a lot of them have variables of uh, degree. You got bold, regular, uh, italic, just different different s settings within some of them. Um, and you can just go through here and find one that suits you. Um, there, are, you cannot import a, a custom font into this, so you pretty much stuck with what they give you but if you can't find one here that doesn't work for you just uh, you may be out of luck there's several here and just go through and select some that uh, you think look good and fit your needs let's try rock salt here that looks pretty good let's raise it up a little bit um, to get it off center move it left and right a little bit That looks pretty good. You can change the size of the font, like I said, um, plus or minus buttons. If you scroll left and right, that takes you to each title line, and there's hidden title lines within the within the template. Um, notice if they're blank, it's probably a space in between. I'll type some letters in here and you see where that's at. So if you want to put a little space in between, um, let's put uh, some this is cool stuff. And you can adjust this up and down. Throw 
it will off center a little bit and change the color. Let's uh, change the opacity here. Let's get us a cool green color. Stands out with the paint in the background. Let's change the font. There's one down here I like really well. Let's see. No, it's not rock salt. It's going down. That's a cool one. Trade winds, yeah, it looks pretty good. Adjust that a little bit. There's more uh, hidden spaces. You can see if I type something in here where it comes up and you can move these around. So let's go through here and uh, see what we've got. You can also select the uh, background music. It comes with a preset background. You can have it fade out or you can add from your music collection. And let's see what we got here. That's pretty good. We'll have the fade out. There you go. So that looks pretty good. Um, they're, they're pretty neat. Um, like I said, you can change and adapt these. You can trim the fade off at the end once you save them to your camera roll. Um, you can save the project within itself or you can uh, save it to your uh, camera roll for further editing. There's uh, up here the little cog wheels got frequently asked questions. The uh, question mark will show you some uh, an intro and some tips on how to use the app. It's pretty good. Um, something good to go through. And then you have the uh, save button. Like I said you can save your camera roll or save it within the, pr within the app itself. But this is intro made. I use it quite a lot. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.